All right, hey, let's welcome back. We are still in the Black Ops 6 campaign here. We're on the emergence mission. And yeah, continuing on to get two more key cards is what we need. I think Springer mentioned this already, but we're moving you to 24 hour observation. The restraints may be necessary at times as well. I, I sincerely apologize. Uh, just until we understand these recent behavioral changes. Safety is our top priority. Alrighty then, alright. Track it down, Case. It has the key card we need. Few are privileged enough to see the inside of joint operations, so welcome. Here, the effects of airborne agents on urban environments are studied in tireless detail. Whether it's for offensive or defensive purposes, we're all more secure in the end. Yeah, all right. It's not going to be that easy. <clears throat> it's hiding again. So we got to find where it is or something. Oh, it's disguised itself as something in the room. Oh shoot, ouch. Oh gosh, it is wrecking me. <coughs> Oh, shoot. Nice, we got it. All right. Shotgun seems to do pretty good damage to it. They tried so hard to protect the cradle case, but the side effects couldn't be stopped. As we know, we were the first and last trial volunteer. So its makers repurposed it into a biological weapon instead. Okay, is this the one we haven't done yet? Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Cognitive research wing. Someone left something important inside that bathosphere case. Oh, the bathosphere from uh, Bioshock? <laughs> Alright, I guess let's open it then. How do we do that? Um, I don't know. How do you do that? Frag grenade? Oh, shoot. I didn't realize there was an area up here, too. My bad. I thought we had to, like, destroy that stuff or something. Assault rifle, Goblin Mark II. We could try it out. 
Let's get some more armor plates for sure. Put those in. Oops. Jackal. I could do the jackal, but I'm gonna try this goblin first, I think. Alright, seems to be mostly it. Oh, there's a shotgun here as well, though. Alright, uh, how do we drain the water? Do we have to get in, or...? <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, hold on. Let's get some air first. This is probably it, right? <coughs> third one is, yeah, hold on. We're probably going to have to do this a different way. Five, five, two. That's got to be it. <clears throat> Alright, there's the final one. Okay, so let's do this again.
let's go. Director key card accepted. Director key card accepted. Access to Get out of here. After the incident here, Livingston shut the cradle program down and dissolved the campaign branch of the CIA. Livingston was uncomfortable with their methods. Afterwards, we were rehabilitated. Oh shoot. Ready to get out of here. Any ammo in here? Or weapons or something? Executive director? Uh, I need more ammo, that's for sure. Oh, it's a shotgun in here, nice. More weapons, sweet. You've been on. I'm glad I wasn't invited. Easy on your feet. 
It means you didn't made it up here. Okay. We have something. Check it out. Someone took a large batch of whatever this stuff is. Last summer by the looks of it. The Pantheon. Hmm. This must be the crater. What is it? The hallucinogen. Seems so. Case you're ready to tear us both apart. Never seen that look in your eyes before. Hope we don't see it again. Let's get the hell out of here. That's creepy. That's creepy. <clears throat> Something you should see. No popcorn? I'm serious. Well, you got my attention. <laughs> you cracked the disc. Indeed. Subject 18 has been infected with the cradle. She's now in proximity to our control subject. Transmission should occur momentarily. It's a biological weapon. I know this already. Keep watching. this time faster yes and more aggressive as requested wonderful I, fre I freaking knew it isn't that your friend Harold I had a feeling hero was involved the other end, will you? Good to see you up. I imagine that bender you are on is still taking a toll. And you know, learning that your friend is a huge bitch. At least you missed the house collapse last night. Right into the water. I don't know about you, but I might start sleeping outside. Let's drop them right here. I don't want to bother Marshall. All right. What? This again? It's near the end of the video. Listen. Okay. Listen. I was able to isolate Gusev's audio this moment in the background. Now. B-24, a wire from Fuchina. B-24, a wire from Fuchina. Who the hell's Fuchina? I have no idea. Not who, what. Fuchina is the casino Lutazzi. Only the Lutazzis and their business partners use that alias. Adler suspected an Avalon faction was connected with the Pantheon. Now we know. 
Not bad. What about B-24? I have done some work for the Dutazis. Regrettable, yet profitable. <laughs> I have a contact that might be willing to shed light on that. Well, it's helped Felix uh, connect the dots here. They have you two. We need a plan. Marshal! Alrighty then. <clears throat> Can I talk to you? You're unusually quiet. Give me a hand with this. Harrow meant that much to you? We working or we talking? Not trying to push. But it's clear you're taking this pretty hard. Yeah, wouldn't you? Yes. I suppose I would. And you. Oh, Don't. wow. What? Don't act like you know how I'm feeling. Your pain is your own, Marshal. But I'm no stranger to betrayal. Yeah? How about when the person you trusted the most turns out to be a supervillain? How about that? Tragedy is not a competition. I don't want a pep talk right now. I am trying to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And you think that this is what I need right now? I was once like you. Did what I was told. Trusted what the people in my life told me. Know what that got me? A life of crime. Loss. The only person real in my life. The only person who saw me. The real me. Gone. Forever. And I pulled the trigger. Say, if I... No, the rules have changed! But the game hasn't. Either accept defeat or take a stand. I think that's it. Uh, let's play this. I think I might have already heard that one actually. Alright, um, where did she head off to? I don't know. That's fine, though. Oh, she's out here. Been a day, huh, Case? Yeah. All right, uh, you okay? The person you trust the most is the one most capable of hurting you. I do feel for Marshall. Similar, something similar happened to you? Years ago, I was involved with someone. His name was Pascal. Another member of the guild. I had never met anyone like him. Someone who didn't take me at face value. He was convinced I wasn't a killer at heart. That I cared too much. And I believed him. I told guild leadership that I no longer wanted that life. How did the guild respond? They confided in me. They knew that Pascal was an operative from a rival family. He had infiltrated the guild to sow discord. Take our secrets. They had the evidence. So they had me orchestrate his assassination. The most difficult thing I've ever done. Alright, you killed him? Yes. But it... It probably won't shock you, Case, to learn what happened next. The whole thing was a lie. He was innocent. I fled the guild and vowed to myself that I would bring the whole house down. Pascal was right about one thing. I do care too much. 
but he also got something wrong. I am a killer. Irreversibly. We'll talk more later. Thanks for listening, Case. I got you. Alright, um... Let's talk to everyone else just real quick, and I think we'll wrap up the video there. Um, go ahead and talk. Oh. Broken wall. Just what we needed, right? For real. Case. Beginning to think you're invincible. <laughs> uh, I was part of a creative experiment years ago run by the Pantheon. It changed me. We can't talk about it. Oh. You still with me? Never mind. Uh, do you think Livingston is working with Hera? Is Livingston a world-class asshole? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. But Harrow? She's unhinged. Not sure if I buy them being in the same league. What about the mole in Panama? Do I think it was Harrow? Don't know. Probably. Pantheon's got a war chest. Could be she traded me, Mason, and Hudson for a mountain of cash. Raul Menendez is swimming in drug money. Wouldn't surprise me at all. We heard from Adler yet? Yeah, he called. Said he won't be home in time for dinner. He's still searching for Gusev in Iraq. Every lead's a dead end so far. But quit ain't in Adler's vocabulary. So, we'll see. You concerned about Mar Marshall at all? Nah. Kid's grown up a lot last couple weeks. This might feel like a nasty setback. But he'll pick himself back up. He's resilient. I got faith in that son of a bitch. That's all for now. Shit's getting heavy. All right, uh, let's talk to Felix real no quick. No one here believes your contagious case, but a little more space, if you don't mind. <laughs> all right, I think that's gonna be it. Uh, thank you guys for watching once again, and I'll catch you guys in the next part. All right, see you there. Peace.